Okay. Now that you have your eBay account set up, or now that you've signed into your eBay, what you're going to want to do now is change the name on the eBay account. You see, if you don't have it changed already, the default username that eBay will give you would probably be a combination of your name and your last name, and a bunch of random numbers. You're going to want to change that. The reason being is because you want to change it into a professional name. Your business will not really be taken that seriously or will not be really given that much of an eye if you have like a bunch of gibberish for your name that eBay assigned to you. That way, you can give it a real business name for your eBay account so it looks more professional to a buyer. So I already changed my uh, eBay account name for this dummy account right here. I just have it blurred out. But I will show you how you can do it yourself. So you're obviously going to go on to the top left here. And you're going to want to navigate over to account settings. So let's click that. Here, once you get here, you should be redirected to this page, which says My eBay, and should have personal info, payment information, account preferences, etc. Then you want to go over to here, where it says Personal Information. And we'll click that. And here, you will get to a page called Personal Info. Now, as I said, I already changed my username. I actually changed it a couple days ago. But here, you should have the edit button, which should be in blue. You're going to want to click that, and then you should be able to change your name here. Now, be warned. Make sure that you get your name the first try. Because if you do not get it on the first try, then you're going to have to wait another 30 days for you to try to change your name again. So make sure that it's right on the first try. But anyway, the next thing we need to do is actually just verify it. And it doesn't really involve much, actually. All we really are going to do, really, is just enter three things. Because this is what eBay requires you to do when you're going to sell. So we're going to require you to enter three things, three pieces of information of your own. One of which is the social security number, your social security number, a date of birth, and a phone number. This is all to just to verify your identity and make sure that you are who you say you are and to make sure that uh, for when you get taxed or when you get sent a 1099, um, you have all that information ready. So. We can do this easily just by hovering in the top left corner over the name. And then we're going to navigate over to account settings. Here from, you want to select personal information. And then here you want to make sure that this says verified for your phone number. So you want to make sure your phone number is verified. You want to enter it here. Enter your phone number there. Uh, where it says personal info. Uh, make sure that your owner name and address is here, so make sure you like your address and name here. Enter your date of birth, and enter your social security number down here. Again, this will make sure that your eBay account is fully verified, so just in case in the event that you run into some issues, your eBay account will already be ready to go and verified. This is also going to make sure that eBay doesn't give you any headaches, because I know from um, the past, um, from other people who have been on eBay, that eBay will kind of give them a hard time if they do not have this information filled out, and it can affect, you know, you sending money to your bank account, you know, from getting paid out from your listings and all that. It could just mess a lot of things up, and we're just doing this right now just to, you know, ease some of the headaches that uh, could be caused if we didn't fill this out, so... Once you've done that, congratulations, you have your fully verified eBay account, and we are ready to move on to the products.